Hey, yo, we got we got a question from my man. Shatik wrote, what he said, who 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 started what he wrote? Who started the crew mixtapes? Yeah, who started the crew mixtapes? Yeah, thank you, Shatik. Of course Tip said did. We started. So let's get this right. Oh, Shati. Mm. Let's get Beats this right. Film. Let's Shout get this Shati. right. And I'm going to keep it all the way buck. We started the mixtape movement, right? And it wasn't a crew mixtape. We were making real albums and putting them out as mixtapes. The G Unit was doing replays of other people's beats and making mixtapes. What's the big difference? We were using our mixtape as albums to promote our real albums. And off those mixtapes, we were taking singles that the people started loving and started putting them on our real albums. But even in that, we put the Dipset mixtape out first before G-Unit put their mixtape out. Now go Google it. Mm. You sure? Google it. Shall I take what you think about that, Shaw? Shaw, what you think about that? You don't know? I don't know. Isn't you to Google it? It was say diplomatic. Dip put set. out the first diplomat. One one of the first diplomat mixtape came out when we had all the furs out, and then put out one of the first G Unit mixtape came out. You can find out. G Unit in the house. What? What? That's what. That's the beat you did, right, Shaw? Yeah, get out of here. You didn't do mm-hmm. no dipset beat. We ain't rocking. Well, let's not take away for the success. <laughs> you that did a dipset beat? What song you did? Uh, it was Forty Cal, uh, Cameron, J.R. <laughs> Ryder, of course, Stickles. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. How was your beat? Yeah. <laughs> Look, this guy. you don't even say nothing. You just sitting there. You corny, Shati. You got, you Why got, you didn't say something you like got, under the you beat? You got diplomat status. He ain't even letting you know. He didn't let me know nothing. <laughs> I don't like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like that. It's Bryce Davis on the check-in. I think this is an interesting topic. In the back of my head, I always wanted to know who made mixtapes. Not literally. I'm talking about who popularized putting out mixtapes. Was it 50 Cent and G-Unit or was it Cameron and Dipset? You know, as Jimmy mentioned, 50 Cent and G-Unit, they was pretty much taking other people's songs and making their own versions of it. In particular, 50 versus Lloyd Banks. He'd just hop on somebody's instrumental and just throw mad bars on it and call it a freestyle. And, you know, Jimmy pretty much self-explained that Dipset, they used it as a promotional tool to promote their albums. I mean, that Piff, that was a website that got me hit to the dips. Uh, Back Like Cook Crack, that was Duels' mixtape series that got me hit to Helm. You know, I was a big fan of that back in the day. If you're from New York, let me know, man. Because obviously, you got to be from New York to really know what's going on. Like the rest of us in the Midwest, we got hit through mix. I mean, uh, through that Piff. Like, we knew about mixtapes, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think the first physical mixtape I saw was Mike Jones, you know, back when I was in middle school or whatever. But, you know, that Piff was always my source to be able to listen to new music, whatever the case may be. And, yeah, like I said before, if you're from NY, let me know in the comments. And it's a third group that, you know, always gets left out that I think definitely deserves a shout-out, and that's the D-Block, man. Like, D-Block, they was definitely doing their thing. Jada Kiss, Shit Gluten, and Styles P, too. So, when you mention Dipset and Genuine, you got to mention D-Block, too, when it comes to mixtapes. But I just think that since they was less popular, they probably don't get the same sign as, you know, Genuine and Dipset was. And I'm not exactly sure if they did do mixtapes the same way but i do know they was dropping mixtapes like crazy back in the day so i don't know how official they were but back then those are like the three crews you would hear the most when it came to mixtapes so let me know in the comments you know if this is right or wrong and of course if you like the video make sure you like and subscribe